What's up guys? Day 11 of Pride Month Bible Teaching, and today we're going to be going over Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 17, where it is written, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore, or the price of a dog, into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow. For even both these are abomination unto the Lord thy God. A little to unpack there. So when it's talking about Israel, it's definitely not talking about the modern nation state of Israel that was founded in 1948. Since we're reading out of Deuteronomy, proper context um, would have been Old Testament. Uh, the founding of Israel as a nation state had not happened yet, not even close. So it's talking about uh, those, it's talking about believers. So God's people, people who believe in him, right? So um, that's the context here. And in the modern context, just to go a little bit further with, with who Israel is in the Bible, because when you're reading Israel in the Bible, it's not talking about um, the nation state in the Middle East. Uh, in the current context, since the New Testament, it would be all who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, we would be Israel. So in this context, it's saying basically to be a daughter of God, you cannot be a whore. And it's saying... Um, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So it's saying in the, that to be a, uh, a son of God, a man of God, um, that you cannot be a sodomite. Sodomites are not men of God. Um, and then it says further, thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore, nor the price of a dog. Here, um, the Bible, and this is one of multiple places in which the Bible, or the word of God refers to sodomites as dogs. Because uh, I, I don't know you, you, if you've seen a dog, they'll hump just about anything. It doesn't really matter, male, female, male, inanimate object. Um, so they're being called dogs here. And uh, it's abomination unto the Lord thy God. So just a reminder, guys, you don't want to be on the side of anything that's an abomination to God. Uh, so I just pray that, that people who hear this message, if they're struggling, that you, you take a second, read the word of God for yourself, pray about it. And have the Holy Spirit come into your life and to change you because it, Jesus Christ can change anybody. So if you're struggling, he can change you and set you on the right path. It's definitely never too late. Um, so, Father God, I just pray that if anyone is struggling with uh, homosexuality or anything that this LGBT, LGBT Pride Month celebrates, that you just fill them with the Holy Spirit and, and turn them around and transform them like you've transformed the men and women in the Bible you meet people where they are and you transform them and bring the best out of them because the best in them is you, Father God. We just pray that for complete transformation because you have so much more for these people who are struggling and being confused by the wicked temptations of the enemy, Father God. Father God, we know that they're struggling and, and, and I know what you can do. I know what you're capable of. I know you transform people. So Father God, we just speak it right now. We just speak it over people who are struggling with homosexuality. We speak transformation into their lives, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus transformation may come. Jesus name. Amen.